Hi, Saggies. How are you? This is uh, <clears throat> your mid-June reading. I'm doing this on the uh, Sagittarius full moon before it turns into Capricorn. <laughs> before it moves toward Capricorn. Hurry, do the reading. <laughs> I know. Saggy full moon, expansive, generous. All right. We're going to talk about Saggy. What is going on for you guys for mid-June? Oh, first, before I move on to that, I want to pull a Wisdom of the Oracle card for you. Wisdom of the Oracle card. Interesting, interesting. Where did I say? Okay, I want to say one thing here. Saggies, I feel like... Um, If there's a shark, if there's somebody who is going to try and take advantage of you, you're going to want to get away. You're going to want to be like, I see you, and get away fast. I don't know why I'm saying that. I just felt like shark or somebody who is trying to take advantage. Just be mindful. I haven't even pulled a card yet, but um, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that predatory feeling, okay? Orphaned. Orphaned. Five. Five right here. This is about um, <clears throat> leaving some people behind, okay? This is about leaving people behind, somebody that has to go out of your life. And it feels bad because I feel like, okay, a sense of loss, an identity crisis, recognizing that you don't fit in, the need to belong, uncertainty about your place. We're all meant to have connections with other people within our family, society, and the larger culture. No man is an island. It's important to recognize when being part of rather than separate from is essential to your well-being. The issue at hand is the need to find where you fit. Be true to your core truths and values. Perhaps you no longer identify with a group or community the way you did before and need to find a new situation. You may be feeling a deep sense of loss or confusion. Address the need for belonging and know that you will find your place with others of like mind and spirit. It's okay to let go of the pressure to fit in. Not everyone will understand you. It's time to move on. So in addition to that shark energy, um, I'm feeling like there is a, some, some need to move out of a community that you have been kind of comfortable with. You, you know, long term. This could be family members. This could be friends. Long time family, friends. Something like that. Two of Cups underneath. It's going in a good direction. <laughs> Thank you. Going in a good direction. Two of Cups. Wanting real love. Fool. Justice. This is the good tarot deck I'm using. King of Cups. This is like ready. <clears throat> you're ready now for love. You're ready. Um, you're ready to, to share feelings. Saggy. Wow. Judgment, sun, right in the smack dab middle, right there, right there. Ten of wands. Let's see. Queen of pentacles in reverse. Two of wands. King of swords. Oh, this is about getting clear in a situation, okay? Saggy, you could be um, dealing with someone who is a Leo. I see Leo here. Leo, Libra, uh, cancer, uh, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is uh, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is about leaving behind um, something that was nurturing previously to you in the past. This is um, somebody who might have been a soulmate that required, um, let me see here. This feels like a past life soulmate coming in. You guys have both left behind something in the past that was nurturing, that was good to you. You might have just gone through a divorce, Sag, and um, on, the, on a new path here, Fool. Fool justice, okay? Fool justice. King of Cups. 
okay? Wanting love. <clears throat> uh, if you've just gotten out of a relationship, if you've gone through a divorce, if you've gone through something, you're like leaving behind this, you know, what happens when you get divorced is sometimes, you know, you lose friends and you lose um, the other person's family and stuff. There's loss. There's loss. Um, the person you're now connecting with could be a Leo. Boy, I've seen a lot of Leo today. Um, a past life soulmate. They got a lot of irons in the fire. <laughs> this person could be, um, you know, they, judgment. In this deck, it's called call. They have a spiritual calling. Okay. Um, judgment, sun. <clears throat> excuse me. Judgment, sun, ten of wands. They're juggling a lot. They got a lot going on. They got a lot going on. So it's, you know, this queen of pentacles in reverse, you could be leaving behind an earth sign or you could be leaving behind somebody, you know, that was not, um, that you need to separate from, right? Now you're making a decision to go towards something that's more clear, something that uh, you're making plans for the future, both making plans for the future. Okay. You're both on the same path here. Queen of Pentacles. No longer nurturing. The Two of Cups is underneath, though. I feel like you have feelings for this person. You might already know this person. Oh, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Wands overcoming this. Ace of Cups wanting to go towards new love. Yes, so this person could have been a Virgo, Capricorn, <clears throat> Taurus. Overcome that to move toward Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, King of Cups. Um, wanting to make an offer to somebody. You had to get out of this other situation. Now this person is on your path, okay? Uh, Leo energy here, fire energy for sure. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sag. And so now, two of wands is a decision. You guys are both making a decision here about, you know, what, how to move forward. I feel like there's, there's an opportunity for real love here. This is a past life soulmate. Okay, fool is very spiritual connection here. The other connection you had was very earthy. Right? It was very um, grounded. But it, it stopped being nurturing, okay? It stopped being the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, positive. It became too much, like too heavy or something. You've overcome that. You're ready for something new. Now, you guys, uh, the relationship is ready. Um, what's needed is a decision. A decision. Justice. In balance. So feel the feeling of orphan, the feeling of going away from another situation can be difficult, can be overwhelming, can feel like, well, this is who I was then. Uh, in Two and a Half Men, I, you know, I like that show. It's just my guilty pleasure, I guess, because um, it's so, sometimes it's so awful. But um, Alan, who's the good son, right, he, um, he says to Charlie that, you know, he was the husband, the dad, you know, and that's his whole identity. Um, and when he got divorced, it was kind of like a uniform. Like, that's just who he knew to be. And he didn't know who to be in this new life after he got divorced. He didn't know who he was anymore. Without that title of dad or father, I mean, you're still their father, right? And, and all of that stuff. But without the title of husband or wife or, you know, without that, this is like stripping your identity, okay? Stripping your identity away and you're not sure who you are anymore. This new person, this past life soulmate, it's, um, it's a different feel. It's more about passion. Um, it could be more about um, work or, or uh, some kind of work that you're doing, like a mi you have a mission together your mission, your spiritual mission, fool and, and, and judgment here. This is a spiritual mission. Okay. And that's the king of swords here can be very, getting very clear on where you're going with this, with this relationship. This is a very, this could be a very spiritually 
important relationship and you guys have a mission together. So you're going to have to leave people behind that's going to feel bad or feel sad or disconcerting, okay? Leaving people behind and now moving forward, you know, people that you never maybe thought you'd leave behind. And King of Swords is very, you know, this is this is not a warm fuzzy, okay? This is like um, making decisions and moving forward. There's not a lot of sentimentality here in the King of Swords, okay? So even though there's love here, the potential for real love, really deep connection, there's some kind of thought process that needs to be not out of cups or passion, but out of swords. It needs to be um, a decision. It needs to be cerebral, logical, about how to proceed, okay? Wow, Saggies. Okay, so I'm going to continue um, with another deck here in the extended. We're going to look more at this person and um, you coming out of a situation where you needed to move on, all right? Link is below, Sagittarius mid-June reading. I'll see you on the other side.